When I went, I was, to be honest, I was feeling quite some trepidation. I thought it was going to be quite a traumatic uh, meeting. But I was struck by how unbelievably full of life and positivity Imam is. We had a wonderful conversation that was wide-ranging. We spoke about poetry, about our languages, how the Kurdish culture is very similar to Welsh culture. And he told me that he's not doing this hunger strike because he wants to die. He did it because he's doing it because he wants to celebrate life. Now that might be something which for some people might seem a paradox, but actually I think it's in, it's very much in keeping with something else that we were talking about, which in terms of the Welsh culture and Kurdish culture, the fact that we have to we have to assert ourselves against a negative force which is overpowering in some ways. And I think that the fact, so with culture, so too sometimes with life, that we have to assert something when it is set against its negative counterpart. Not getting more. Why on earth isn't the mainstream media talking about this more? This is something which is affecting people's lives. Now is the critical time. We have to keep fighting for this and I know that I'm very much preaching to the converted and I will keep fighting with you for that. And the only thing that I would say, other than this, please forgive my pronunciation of this, is Tejlida Bishkanin Fajiz Metek Bibin. Politics. And I've said it again and I've said it before. The ideas of Ocalan and the strength and bravery of our Kurdish comrades fighting ISIS is a light that shines in a dark of populist world and people in the left are following you and we stand with you in solidarity. For using chemical weapons, there is no morality in Western politics or Eastern of course, but they lack the hypocrisy of the West. I can only ask, beg even the Welsh Assembly and Welsh MPs to use all their, all their power and influence to encourage the UK to come to the help of the Kurdish people in every way possible. If that involves a low, a low in, allowing wholesale refugee acceptance, then so be it. We are all the same species. We all cry, we all bleed. Void plan. Thank you. And, uh, the one demand of the hunger strikers is, you know, to restart family and uh, legal visits to Imrali Island, uh, where Ojalan has um, been obviously incarcerated in isolation since uh, 15th of February 1999. Um, and to do that, we really need to raise the profile of, of uh, the hunger strikers case. And for us in the UK, it's Imam, Imam Shish. Um, so we really need to increase, you know, this uh, pressure and, you know, people like Leila Guben who had no choice but to use their own bodies as weapons under the incarceration of the Turkish state. This is all for, the, for someone, for Abdullah Öcalan. And this is against the isolation of the Kurdish people's leader, Abdullah Öcalan. And not just because, as an individual, he is incredibly crucial and key to us, because he is, but also because the isolation of Abdullah Öcalan is not just the isolation of the Kurdish people, not just the isolation of all the peoples of the region of the Middle East, but actually in some ways it's the isolation of all of us. It's the isolation of all of us from a free life, from, a, from fighting for a better. Because what, uh, what states and governments like the Turkish state represent uh, in the name of capitalism and capitalist modernity is an empire of fear. So when you're like someone like Imam who says I am not scared to die even though you're trying to control me with fear, that's the failure of that system within itself. All of us who believe in democracy and peace and freedom have a duty to try and bring that and establish that everywhere we are. You know, solidarity, I think, you know, one of the most beautiful things humanity has developed over history is solidarity and internationalist solidarity and in some ways despite capitalism and the ecological catastrophe that we are faced with I think we'd like to try and push for uh, the Senate and hopefully the Welsh government itself to try and put forward uh, very least some sort of statement if not preferably uh, pragmatic action to um, act on the two core demands of um, 
pushing for the Committee for the Prevention of Torture to reopen the investigation in Murali Island and to pressure Turkey.